Hi folks, so today I received the Phantom Wise Tarot in the post. It's a deck that I actually ordered um, 12th of July, I think it was. Um, so it's taken a while. It was a pre-order from Book Depository. And it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box that looks like it's got sparkles here, but it hasn't. It's, it's the paint. It's the way the paint's been flicked onto the image, which is gorgeous. Got this gold detail here. Really, really nice. It's a 78 card deck and guide book. That's the side. Gorgeous, isn't it? Triple Moon. Phantom Wise Tarot. And it's sealed just with these little plasticky seal things on the side. It hasn't come in a cellophane wrap at all. Um, some people said theirs have come damaged, but this one looks fine. So, there's only one seal there, so I presume it's going to open outwards. Yes, I think it's going to open outwards. Okay, so let's just open the seal. There we go, it's quite easy. And it hasn't damaged the box, so that's bonus. So on the back here, let's zoom in and see what it says. So there's a few card images there and it says, to get some light on the subject. Welcome to a nocturnal fantasia where nothing is as it seems. The images in this black and white dreamscape exist now and then and out of time completely somewhere between asleep and awake. The hand-painted characters and creatures who inhabit this circusy wonderland serve as symbols illustrating moments and mysteries encountered on life's journey. The enclosed guidebook will light your way, but you must trust your intuition as you travel the path of the Phantom Wise Tarot. So the publishers are part of Penguin and it's Clarks and Potter. And Erin Morgenstern is the author. Now, she is the author of two books that I've read, which I thoroughly enjoyed. The Night Circus and The Starless Sea. Beautiful written books. Just two of my all-time favourite books. And When were they written? I think 2012 was the... Night Circus and then The Starless Sea was the second book and as she was writing The the Night Circus she was developing this deck at the same time and in the story of The Night Circus there is indeed a tarot reader um, is quite an important part of the story so there's that tie in there. The Night Circus book is very very atmospheric and I'm really hoping that the tarot deck follows that dreamy atmosphere in the book. Um, the book set is, it centres around a circus that just appears overnight in different towns. No one knows it's coming and they wake up and there it is. It's just suddenly appeared out of, seemingly out of nowhere. And it's got no colour. The t All the tents are black and white. So there's sort of a reference here to the black and white of the tents, I would imagine. It's got like a timeless quality to it. It's Although it's set at different times, it goes backwards and forwards in time. It's an other world. It's really a dreamlike, moody world. It's, it's an amazing book. Go read it. I actually got mine from the local library. I didn't buy it, but I got the feeling. And the Star of Sea. I got that one from the library as well. Um, so, you know, you don't actually have to buy the books. Um, and I'm wondering if the book's characters will be in this deck, which would be nice. So let's have a little look. So we've got a red interior to the box here. And this is the, the guide. Oh, it's very thin. It's a very thin guide. Oh, there's not an awful lot of information. Yeah. 
a nice little protective piece of like onion paper. Let's put that to one side. Oh, backs are nice. Right. So what have we got in the book? Let's have a little look. Still she haunts me, phantom-wise, Alice moving under skies, never seen by waking eyes. Lewis Carroll through the looking glass, and what Alice found there. So that's where she's got the title for the tarot deck, is from... Um, sorry about the light here. It's very shiny. <laughs> from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. So what's the introduction say? So, welcome to the phantom-wise tarot. This black and white world is a little bit circusy, a little bit wonderland and a little bit nocturnal fantasia of its own invention. A mix of myth and fairy tale and chaotically splattered paint, <laughs> populated with pirates and puppies and ballerinas and books, all conjured from shadow and light. Now we all know I love puppies and I love dogs, so that's got to be right up my street. Ravens may not be what they seem, the cats know more than they'll ever tell. Oh. Oh, so the, an inquisitive child in a white dress foolishly chasing after a rabbit. That's Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Despite cat-issued warnings and finding themselves tumbling through, <clears throat> excuse me, through a world of shadowy figures and swirling clouds, dark moonlit woods, before they find their feet on the solid ground of the world again. So it's the fool's journey. Okay. Suggestions for how to read. And then we've got three card spread. A six card spread, a seven card spread down the rabbit hole. We're chasing intriguing bunnies into unknown depths. <laughs> Author's note. Okay, Phantomized Tower was painted between 2007 and 2010. In an attempt to relearn the tarot after having picked it up and put it down again several times before. Oh, done that. <laughs> Well, I haven't painted a tarot, but I've you know, picked it up and put it down a few times. Okay, she's helped to catch them in her own memory and imagination. So she hand-painted in black and white acrylic paint and all the shades of grey from mixing the two. And writing the book at the same time. Well, she was busy. <laughs> okay. And then we've got the cards. Like I said, there's not an awful lot of information on each card. Um, that's it. So, not a very substantial um, guidebook. It's more like a little white book, just a little bit nicely produced. So, read inside with a ribbon to lift the cards out, which I always appreciate. Saves damage in them. So, seems to be a marker down the side there. It's just got a plastic band around it. Let's get the cards together. Okay, so this... Oh, it's a bit damaged there. Okay. It's cardstock. It's like linen. Textured. Not bad cardstock, actually. Definitely you can see the you know the raised surface there quite thick not overly thick what we've got to compare it with a trusty rider weight I do this every time don't I trusty rider weight just to compare the thickness here Yeah, it's quite a bit thicker than a standard rider weight. Card size, tiny bit bigger, only a very tiny bit. Nothing to shout about. So immediately we can see the image on the card isn't very big. Because like almost what well, quarter of the card is taken up by the name. That seems a little bit of a waste of space, really. Is this the same on all of them? Yes. So that's quite 
disappointing. I like bigger images. <laughs> so yeah, they are quite small images when you actually take away the title of the card. So yeah, that to bear in mind. Interestingly, in the Night Circus, some of the chapters are actually named after the tarot. There's a chapter called The Hangman. There's one called uh, the French word for the fall, which is bat Batelier or something. I don't know, I don't speak French. Batelier, but anyway, the fall. Um, there's one, there's a chapter called The Hangman. There's a chapter called The Lovers. There's even a chapter called Cartomancy, which is obviously using cards. Anyway, that's just quite interesting. So, as you can see, it is black and white. She, used, she said she used acrylic paints and that's the splattered paint there. I've been doing sort of the same thing in my journals. Sort of, I can show this because it's still wet at the minute. I've been uh, split splattering paint. Uh, I like the effects. No. Put that to one side, you might be able to see that better. So yeah, just splattering paint on to other paint. It makes quite interesting um, patterns. Anyway, that's what I've been doing this morning, actually. I've been doing the backgrounds in some of my little Hobonichi weeks and a little MD notebook. <laughs> it's the child in me. Talking of children. Let's have a look at the fool. So here's Alice in Wonderland, obviously. Following the rabbit down the tree trunk, down the rabbit hole. And there's a cat instead of a dog warning her. Magician. I'm just going to go through the cards really because I don't. I want to see if I recognise any characters from the car from the book sorry a very talented lady isn't she an author and an artist very easy to separate linen cardstock I quite like linen cardstock I've got another deck that's um, the same Kittens and cats. That really does remind me of the book. There. The stripy tights. I love that aesthetic. It's got a boat there, look. Oh, is that a reference to the Starless Sea? <laughs> Maybe. That's from the cover of the box. It's a real sort of Victorian um, steampunk quite, quite feel to it. I love the backs. Look at the backs. They're gorgeous. Oh, look at this. You could almost see Johnny Depp in these cards, couldn't you? Whole Tim Burton feel as well. I'm getting Tim Burton vibes. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Got the circus master. I mean, his hat's still on, isn't it? That's a clever trick. That's. I like that death card. Yes. In the face. It's almost like a tent there, isn't it? That dress. I think that's a reference to the book, I would say. Character in the book. That's definitely in the book. 
the clock that's outside the circus, the entrance to the circus, specially commissioned. It's nice how she splattered paint to make stars. Isn't that gorgeous. I've just finished reading um, Sisters of the Solstice and Moon, Gina Martin book. I just finished it today and that's just sort of reminding me of some of that book. And the world, so that's Alice again, having completed, side by side having completed her journey and going back again to the beginning. And she's got the world tree there, look. Like that. Right, let's get on to the suits and see, see what the suits are all about. So, start as usual with the ones. So is this the magician's magic wand? One wonders. She signed it there, look. I wondered if that lined up then. Pinata. Cat that got the mouse. <laughs> so yeah, it's typical um Wide White Smith imagery in these ones cards. I don't really see the book characters. They are very right away, Smith. Okay, so that was the wands, the cups, and he's in teacups. All these are hair strands going out. Hmm. That's funny. I like that. That is funny. The bunny ears. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that was the cups. Lots and lots of bunnies. Swords. So, more ravens in the swords. Wow. Huh. Raven. So the raven's in the swords. Bonnie's in the cups. And kittens in the wands. So what do we have in the pentacles? Dogs! <laughs> giving them a burn hmm. I wonder if that's a nod to Pamela Coleman Smith, because there are pictures of her wearing a turban. Just a thought. Right, so that is a walk through the Phantom Eyes Tarot. I'm not seeing too many uh, references to the actual book. There's more references to Alice in Wonderland. There's, it is definitely circus themed in a lot of the cards. Um, let's have a little shuffle, shall we? Draw a card. Let's see what the deck has to say first. Two of Wands. So there's a choice to be made, a direction. Let's have a look what the book says. A black cat sits in the branches of a tree gazing out upon the world. A small creature in a high place with big dreams. <laughs> Balanced, waiting, a time for seeking, yearning, daydreaming, envisioning the future, preparation, laying plans and envisioning goals, looking out for new adventures. So yeah, very Rider Waite Smith. Um, what could I pair this deck with? Um, there is um, Cirque de Tarot. But then I wouldn't really want to put two tarot decks together. Maybe 
the Divine Circus, Alana Fairchild's deck. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at that and see how they work together. Okay, so the deck I'm thinking of pairing in it with the Oracle deck is this one, Divine Circus Oracle Cards, Alan, Alana Fairchild. So let's see how these go together. Beautiful, I love this deck. And she always gives so much information, like affirmations. It's lovely. Healing. Okay, let's just see how they work together. Oh, wow. Wow. That is amazing. Look at this. Wow. Okay. I like them. I like the way they pair. I think they go really well together. Just randomly pulling Ooh. cards out. Wow. Yeah, so that's my little walkthrough of my brand new purchase. The Phantom Wise Tarot, circus based, and pairing it alongside the Divine Circus Oracle cards by Alana Fairchild. So I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully see you in the next video. Um, yeah, bye.